Welcome. Swimming Queensland produces tools for coaches and swimmers to promote athletic development. Tom Barton, a physiotherapist and yoga teacher, cr created this great activation program for swimmers. Tom has been working with past and present Queensland Olympians, including those in my squad. This program is part of Swimming Queensland's long-term development vision and is suitable for all ages from the 10-year-old through to the high-performance athlete. This activation routine was designed to provide a swimming athlete with the key elements required for consistently good performance in the pool. For this consistency, we need an efficient streamline. We need to feel connected through our core. We need to have awareness of where our body is in space. We need to have awareness of our breath and we need to have control of our body through whatever available range we have. Passive, absent-minded, single joint stretching might feel good and it might create more flexibility in the short term, but it doesn't always translate into better swimming. Improved performance in the pool comes with whole body active movements through range with awareness where the focus is on quality, control, and connection. The most important aspect of this program is the concept of testing and retesting in streamline. We know that an improved streamline has such an important role to play in decreasing injuries and increasing speed in the pool. If you have no idea whether your current pre-swim routine improves the quality of your streamline or improves the quality of your swimming, then why would you be consistent with it? Why would you bother? In less than 10 minutes, this routine provides a way to consistently improve your streamline, improve your connection, and improve your awareness. The first section of this program is about checking in with your body, checking in with your streamline, and seeing how hard or easy it feels. We then proceed with whole body warm-up, where we aim to connect the breath with the body, start to establish flow. Next, we move on to opening the front of the body, aiming to improve muscle activation, balance, awareness, and control. And then we look at opening up the sides of the body, where we are focusing on alignment and smooth transitions. Finally, we reassess our strength line and see if it made a difference. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, so starting at the front of your mat, even standing, so that the feet are underneath the knees, which are straight underneath the hips. We inhale, and we check in with our screen. So take your time here, check in for three breaths. I want you to close your eyes there. And just feel how hard or how easy the strength feels. Feel whether the breath has changed, feel whether the tension in your shoulders or the hips has changed. Let's take it one more breath. Exhale, folding forward, 
relaxing, soft knees to support them. And then inhale, sweeping the hands up, reach up nice and up. Exhale, back to the same thing again. Inhale, sweeping up. Really flowing with your breath. Exhale, floating down. Inhale, into flat back position, checking with your hands. Exhale, hands come down. Step back one foot at a time. Lower down to the more advanced version. Inhale, coming up more before up with dog. So strong through the body, open shoulders. Exhale, rest that. Into down and open again. Just have a play on those twists and those angles which help open up where you might feel tight and restricted. Sending the sitting bones up towards the ceiling. Keep some softness in the knees. Strong hands. Next inhale, we'll look forward. Set the feet through again one at a time. Up to flat back. Check in with your hands. Exhale, hold the forward. And inhale, sweep the hands up. Reaching up nice and high. Good, so just warm the body up. Now we move into opening the front of the body. Take our next step. It's a nice big step back. Hands are on the hips. Back heels off the ground. We're just opening up our hip flexors. High lunge. Holding here for two breaths to start with. Making sure you feel the stretch through the front of the hip. And you have some tension in the abdomen. Both hips should be facing forward. From here I'll lean forward. Using my left glute here to press me up. To find balance. Long spine. My hip is at 90 degrees. My knees at 90 degrees. From there I exhale. I press back. And this time we're going to layer on some upper body stretch. So I'm still stretching here. But this time I'm clasping my hands behind my back. Rolling my shoulders over my ribcage. And then extending my arms. You can have this variation. Or you can turn your palms towards the back of the room. If you've got the mobility. My spine is nice and long. My breath is nice and easy. Good. From there, we we'll bring our hands onto our hips again, lean forward, press up into balance. And from here, we're trying what's called warrior three. So we want to keep the hips level, bring the hands onto the glutes so you can feel them activate. The spine is still nice and long. Inhale, come up. And then we exhale again, stepping back. So we're going through this one for three breaths. We're opening, we're streamlining. We're going to have a tiny little side bend to the left and a tiny little side bend backwards. So we're opening up our obliques, our deep hip flexors. Our breath is nice and steady, nice and even. Stay there for one more breath. Slowly come back to the middle. We're going to lean forward and press up into balance. So you can keep your hands here if you want the challenge, otherwise you can bring your hands down to your hips. But we're going to do that one of three again. Just finding that balance, controlling, coming back up. And exhale, back down and just shake it out. Same on the other side. You can't take your left leg. Step back, and the hands are on the hips. We're focusing on that long line of stretch. Staying there for one more breath. And then we lean forward. This time the weight is into the right foot and that right glute. We press up into balance. First, just establishing that we can balance. Exhale, step back. This time, again, we're still opening the front. Rolling the chest over the ribcage, extending through the shoulders, breathing nice and easy, nice and steady. Hands back onto the hips, leaning forward, pressing up, just find your balance. And then from there, we'll sweep through. Again, use your hands for feedback. Make sure that you're checking in with your body, checking in with what muscles are working. Inhale, come up. Exhale, step back. This time into that streamline variation. We're lengthening, we're strong through our legs, we're lengthening, 
through the side bed and the back bend. We're not collapsing through the side, we're looking to lengthen the body as much as possible. Breathing. Come back to the middle, knee forward. Using that right foot to press you up into balance. And you can maintain that. Just do whatever you can handle. If you need to have your hands on your hips, that's fine. Inhale, come up. And exhale, back down. Nice opportunity now just to check in with the streamline to see if that opening in front of the body has made a difference. Now we're going to go to opening the side of the body. So from here we're going to take our left leg and step back. Heel to arch the line here. We're bending the front knee so it's at 90 degrees. We're going to rest our forearm onto the middle of our thigh. And using our thumb, we're going to trace a line from our hip into our armpit, up towards the ceiling and then out. So we want to have a straight line, a long line from our hand, through our elbow, through our shoulder, all the way through the side of the body, down towards the foot. The legs need to be strong. Breath relaxed. But from here we transition through what we call warrior two. So strong legs, arms are level, just staying there for one breath. Transition into reverse warrior. So the fingertips are only resting on the back knee, and reaching that right hand up nice and tall, breathing into this front body. Stay there for two more breaths, three in total. Forearm comes down, again we trace that line, we lengthen, try to decrease how much weight is through this right hand or this right forearm. Staying there for two breaths. We transition into warrior two, inhale, exhale, two breaths. Finally, the last time going through, inhale. Exhale, transition. Inhale. Exhale, transition. So smooth, flowing movements. Inhale. Exhale, transition. We windmill our hands around. We frame that front foot. Step back. Lower down through plank. Inhale, it's up with toe. Exhale, back down into down and go. Just take a couple of moments there, a couple of breaths. Next inhale, we look forward, we'll step the feet through. Come up to a flat back position again, so again, check in with the spine. Exhale, hold forward. And inhale, sweeping all the way up. Stepping back. So this first round, we're really looking at establishing really good alignment. So we're looking to rotate the right hip, the right ribs up towards the ceiling, with this nice stretch through the side body. Staying there for a couple of three breaths. And we transition just for one breath into warrior two. And then back to reverse warrior for three breaths. The palm facing towards the back of the room. This time we're really focusing on our transition. So we're staying here just for two breaths. Focus on how smooth you can make the transition. Up to warrior two, one breath. Back to reverse warrior. Feel free to move those feet around wherever you feel comfortable with. Try to work with 
sitting going up towards the ceiling. Long spine. And you inhale, we look forward. You can step through, pop the feet through. Again, come up to that flat back position. Soft knees, committed. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, come all the way up. And here we check back in with our screen one. Close the eyes. Again, just checking in whether it feels any easier. Whether your shoulders feel more mobile, whether you feel straighter, whether your breath more easily work through the rib cage. Okay. That's the routine. Enjoy.